Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. So here with me, I have two Galaxy S21 Ultra. Okay, so the silver one is the Exynos and the black one is the Snapdragon. And currently both of them are upgraded to August, uh, the latest security patch, uh, which supposedly should uh, improve with their per camera performance as well. Uh, if you watch my previous videos, you know that the Exynos version actually lags behind the Snapdragon version in terms of uh, low light, especially low light video capabilities. So today we are going to do a latest comparison and uh, see whether the Exynos has improved by... Okay, all right, let's go. Okay, guys, so now I'm recording 4 k 30 fps on the main lens from both of the devices and they are held on the same same tripod okay and i think it's still quite apparent to see that the exynos lacks a bit of detail compared to the snapdragon variant okay uh just check out the the floor right you can see much more detail on the the snapdragon where on the exynos it's just like um, someone set the texture quality to low in a 3d game and that's how it looks like okay and that's the main lens let's move to a slightly darker place to see how they perform yep so here is a uh, slightly darker and just check the grass okay i think the snapdragon is more vibrant a little bit more noisy but uh, has much more detail in the grass okay um the the exynos variant tends to smear the details so the, everything just looks a bit blurry and uh, smudgy okay and now let's change to ultra white here is ultra white and straight away you can see a clear difference and this difference was there ever since the first software version of these two devices i mean since they they were released okay it's just so much better on the snapdragon um yes i think there is a little bit more noise but i'll take the noise over the lack of details on the on the Exynos any day, right? Just look at the pavement, the grass, everything. It's just so much more detailed on the Snapdragon. Well, on the Exynos, uh, it really doesn't look that good. But of course, when you move to places where the light is a little bit brighter, you don't have so much, uh, I mean, you still have quite significant difference, but yeah there you have it All right, that's that's video recording on Exynos for you I'm quite disappointed to be honest I was expecting Samsung to actually fix this but now it's more than half a year and nothing has changed so I'm thinking this could be the hardware difference where you can't really fix with any software update okay so that's the ultra wide angle and uh, let's move on to 3x zoom okay so it's much brighter on the snapdragon let's try another angle oh but i think the snapdragon is actually zooming in from its main lens that's why it's brighter but it's not as detailed as the exynos okay why why are you doing this snapdragon you don't have to do this all right let's let's switch lenses a little bit and see. oh yeah now they are both recording from the 3x difference is not so much here but uh, personally i prefer the snapdragon a little bit because i feel the color is just a little bit better and also if you look at the floor um the, the Exynos still has the kind of 
blurry feel while the snapdragon looks a little bit more natural okay let's try 10x uh, now here you can definitely see that the snapdragon is better okay i'm not sure if the xns actually turned on its periscope lens maybe it didn't let me zoom in a little bit and zoom back okay this seems to be the 10x and yes it's much better on the snapdragon okay let, let me put them on the ground so that they don't shake at all and for you to to actually see how they perform do you see it i think the snapdragon is much better in this regard um the colors are better uh, more detail and uh, everything right i think overall the snapdragon is just uh, better in in the zoom so it's better for zoom and uh, it's better for 3x zoom as well but slightly better not so much better better a little bit better on the main lens especially when you start to move and then much better on the ultra wide i think the most significant difference is in the ultra wide lens right it's almost unusable on the axiomas while on snapdragon is still i'll still say it's barely usable maybe yeah so there you have it the low light video comparison between snapdragon and axiomas s21 ultra after august update okay guys thanks for watching and see you next time